After the Battle of Chirpy, the defeated Sao Sao retreated back to the north, while Sao Ren volunteered for the immense task of warding off pursuing enemies at Xiangling in an effort to reduce casualties. Using the momentum of the last victory, Wu Zhou Yu led a large force north and surrounded Sao Ren's castle. In response, Sao Ren sent his officer Niu Jin to engage the enemy, but being vastly outnumbered, Niu Jin was easily surrounded and isolated from the main force inside the castle. Something had to be done. Sao Ren donned his armor and struck out of the castle, amid strong objections from his men. How could one call himself a general if he could not protect the lives of his officers? Sao Ren was determined to rescue Niu Jin and return safely to the castle. Alright, so here's the next legend scenario, Sao Ren scenario, the encounter at Jiangling, and the special rules, well, there's no bodyguard, so here we go. Alright, the equipment, the weapon, as you know, we have the rock at level 10. The items, it's been a while, as you know, so I'll show off exactly what I'm going to be using. I can't equip any bodyguards. The objectives, all we have to do is reach Eugene and have him head over to ski point to win if he dies. If I die, or if the time runs out, we lose. The unit info for Sao Sao's forces, we have Sao Ren, which is me, and Eugene. For Sun Chuan's forces, we have Gan Ning and Han Dong. Alright, let's do it. So this is pretty much a retrieve, rescue, and escort stage. My lord, no! If you go, the castle will fall! How can I protect the castle if I cannot protect the lives of my men? Open the gate! endure New Jin I am on my way So there is a unique item in the stage that you could get We have gotten it already the thing is we get it here if you haven't gotten it in Guan Yu's escape under Guan Yu's forces or Liu Bei's forces and that is the bodyguard armor all you have to do here is reach New Jin that's it. Um, I believe you have to do this before defeating Gan Ning and Han Dong. However, I have capped out Eugene's morale, which is actually a gimmick in this stage. Every 15 KOs you get, 15 as in 1 5, because typically you'll be thinking 5 0. But every 15 KOs will increase his morale. Once you hit 90 KOs, his morale will probably should be maxed out by then. Um, so. And I'm already at 90. So I think his morale should be good. Oh, he's at 7. He'll go up, though. If anything, I could just get 10 more KOs and I'll be set. But, um, yeah, that's how you get the bodyguard manual here. If you're trying to get it in the original, just a reminder, Blake 1 use escape under Liu Bei's forces. And make sure you defeat Xiao Dun. Not only you have to defeat him, but defeat him while beyond the fifth gate. So you have to pass the fifth gate, have both you and Xiao Dun there, and then defeat Xiao Dun. But you just gotta be careful not to hit the uh, escape point to uh, end the stage. So, anyways, let me go and uh, reach Eugene because we already got enough uh, morale as it is for Eugene. Alright, defeated both Gan Ning and Eugene. And there's the item right there. In the meantime, I'm gonna go and secure the two gates. I can't hear the bells anymore. So far, so good. Got that gate secured. Now I'll secure the other gate. And keep in mind, we do have to fate. Well, I shouldn't say keep in mind. Keep in mind, but uh, 
there are still other reinforcements and ambush units that will appear. The only one you have to really worry about, if anything, is when Zhou Yu appears. But besides that, you should be perfectly fine. Alright, there we go. Oh yeah, and that's right, Zhou Tai's here too. I don't know why I forgot about him. Alright, Zhou Tai's down. The end. And obviously Zhou Yu has commander stats, so he'll be a little bit more difficult to defeat. Anyways, that took care of Zhou Yu pretty quickly. Now here come the ambushes. I'll grab the bodyguard manual first, since it's right here. And then we'll... There you go. I'm probably gonna hit 400 KOs at least. Definitely grab that before it disappears. That was close. Oh, there was another one back there. Anyways, we'll move on. You shall not escape. Alright, now all we have left is show you. For some reason, his morale is down to zero. Well, now he's down. That's weird. Wasn't it at three before? Or four? I didn't... Yeah, you know what? I'm not gonna complain. I could have sworn he had morale. And when he appeared, he had nothing. That didn't make any sense. But you know what? I I'm just gonna roll with it. And there you go. And that's a win. All right. That's another one down, and uh, there's the item, the bodyguard manual. Like I said, all you have to really do is meet up with Eugene. I'm not 100% sure if you have, if you can actually defeat Gatning and Han Dong before approaching him. I know you have to actually rescue him. So, with my thoughts of that and my, you know based on what I you know, see there is you have to reach Eugene and rescue him while he's being attacked by both Han Dong and Gan Ning. You can get those KOs though to, to uh, increase his morale, but um, I wouldn't chance defeating Gan Ning and Han Dong. That's just me though. And also if you're trying to get this in the original, play Guan Yu's Escape and make sure you defeat Zha Ho Dun while both you and Zha Ho Dun I would recommend playing that stage as Guan Yu, but uh, since for the fact that you could actually accidentally end a stage if uh, you have both Guan Yu in the carriage at the end, but um, well, if they both reach the end, so you gotta do that. Defeat Zha Ho Dun while you and Zha Ho Dun are past the fifth gate. But uh, in order to get that stage, all you have to do is play the Battle Siege Gate, 
don't what I did was I didn't encounter or took over the supply depot, defeated Hua Xiang. When you want to shout, ask if there was any person was capable of defeating Hua Xiang. Then I played the Battle of Hulao Gate, defeated both Lu Bu and Diao Chan, but let Dong Zhuo get away. So, anyways, enough of that ramble. Our KO count is 368. I really thought I was going to get 400 there. Um, the worthy opponent counts is 4. And uh, the clear time is 5 minutes and 18 seconds. We're going to have a lot of points, but I guess that's what happens when I assume, right? <laughs> I really thought I was going to get 400 KOs. But uh, anyway. Our point total is... Not uh, 7,927 points. Not that that matters because Sal Ren's rank is at max. Alright. The weapon experience doesn't matter because we have the level 10 weapon. Grade, we got an A. All right, not perfect score, but we got an A nonetheless. We'll save, and there you have it. You can watch my gaming adventures featuring Dynasty Warriors 4, and in some cases Extreme Legends, but for me it's still 4. And I'll see you in the next part. We'll go and complete the final Legend scenario amongst the three kingdoms of Wei, Wu, and Shu, and that's Zhou Tai's. Then we'll move on to the other forces. We're almost there. We have eight more to go. But um, anyways, peace out.